what's up guys so we're only going to be doing four to five videos a month on youtube um of course we you just listen to the intro you're about to listen to the intro um there's no intro and there's no censorship of these words on rumble so including this video you're about to watch it's free to just go watch on rumble right now um i would just encourage you to just go do that go sign up either we do our live catches on there all of that stuff so go to rumble and of course if you want to see all these videos early plus even more live streams and directly support what we do getting evil people like this arrested go join our locals to where you can see stuff um, months and months early and of course uncensored but yeah at least go to rumble uh, you shouldn't even be here right now but if you insist on being here enjoy the censored version of this video what's up guys before this video starts be sure to follow us on all platforms including on rumble which you can find in the pinned comment um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately and <clears throat> rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot so be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. What's up? Before we get into the messages with Emily, I need to go over this real quick. In all seriousness, I know that everybody's sick of the old commercial, so here's a new one. If you're interested in buying merch, which is very comfortable, in all seriousness, get the merch here. We have all new stuff, including sweatshirts, shorts, t-shirts, maybe even hats. Check it out. Pin comment, gordonflowers.com. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing an educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Don't point it at him. <sighs> Any weapons on him? I don't see anything. Here, Pablo. Here. How's it going, Jim? What's up? 
Gordon, got to talk to you about what's going on with Lisa, okay? Who you are? Gordon, got to talk to you about what's going on with Lisa, all right? We got all the messages saved here. We just want to talk to you about everything, okay? Okay. Oh, let's kind of do it away from their door. I don't want them overhearing. <laughs> Probably a good idea. And we're feeling for safety. We're not here to hurt you or anything like that, all right? But I think it's important we talk because we understand you're on the registry and uh, just kind of want to go over everything here. After you. What's that? I will understand you're on the registry, so I just kind of want to go over everything here, see what happened and whatnot. Appreciate it. Again, really sorry to meet you like this. Yeah. It's all right. You have any weapons on you? I'm sorry? Any weapons on you? No. Okay. Let's just kind of go where people can't over here, because I'm not trying to, like, you know, blast you or anything like that. Yeah, but, you know, I got kind of, and, you know, of course, I'm not holding you here, but I kind of feel you're just going to leave if you go to your work truck, and I'm trying to do you a solid here. So, I mean, what do you think? Do what now? kind of feel like you're going to leave you as you go to the work truck. Well, no, I'm just going to grab a cigarette. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I mean, we can do that there then, but I'm just letting you know, like, we, all we want to do is just go over this stuff with you, okay? That's fine. Okay. So what do you do for work, though? Okay, you do like make deliveries and stuff like that? No, I go out and clean property. We do tractors, trailers. Okay. All kinds of dumb shit. Nice. So you get your, get your hands down and dirty and whatnot? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I've had some bad problems. You're not going to drive off on us, are you? Not right at the moment, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might if I just kind of put my hand right here for a bit? Oh, okay. Here's your cigarettes. Okay. Well, I appreciate what you do. I mean, you kind of turned your life around after uh, prison and oh, stuff. I'm trying to. Yeah, absolutely. Just kind of want to make sure we still. It's not easy, but. Yeah. It is what it is. Fighting stuff. Absolutely. So, I mean, obviously, you know what I'm here to talk to you about, right? Yeah. Okay. So, before we get into anything, I mean, how old is Lisa? She claims nine, but oh. I don't believe it. Okay. And how old's your sister? I don't know. I think she said about six or something. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate your honesty. Okay. So, I mean, obviously there's a lot, lot to unpack here and stuff like that. And uh, you, what, what year did you get out of prison? 21. 21. Okay. So when did social media get the best of you again? After I got out of the halfway house. They let you have a phone again? Or? Well, I'm trying to get one. You know, you got to put a program on it. So you use a tablet now? No. I just got a piece of prepaid. Okay, got it. So that's how you kind of circumvent and just use Instagram and stuff like that? Yeah, basically what I really wanted to do was for my online banking and stuff. So that way I can just pay bills or whatever. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it's more convenient in the current year, Correct. of course. Yeah, makes sense. So um, how's that? I mean, do you like manage to pay your bills on time and do stuff like that or? I do. Um, well, I live, sometimes I can just call and pay. I'm stuck somewhere. I can't get there to pay it by yeah. 11 o'clock so I don't get hit with the late fees. Right, right, right. So she's already got my card number and everything. She's okay. Just, so pretty understanding about that stuff. Right. But if I could just do it online myself, I don't have to call them. I can avoid all it. Right, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I think it, everybody should have a phone nowadays. I mean, the world's moving too fast to not have one, I think. But, um, yeah, so when did, when did kind of the Instagram stuff start again, though? Well, when, when did you get out of the halfway house? I got out of the halfway house in October. Of this past year? Okay. So, probably soon after that? Uh, it wasn't really too soon after that. Yeah. You know, I kind of just wanted to get my life back together, which I do. For sure. You know. And I think you still do. That's what I'm just talking to you about. This, like, just making sure that we can keep going on the right path because nobody, nobody gets helped when, you know, things go south. You know what I mean? Right. So, I mean... You know, rather just be this than, 
you know, I don't think there needs to be a corkscrew. I mean, because a lot of people, they get out, they just revert back to like, you know, not having a job and doing stupid shit like that. So, uh, you know, I, I respect. Uh, that's one of the things that was really on my mind. I, I got to work, you know, I got to have money. I uh -huh. got to pay bills, you know, take care of myself. Right. I can't rely on my family. You know, they helped me out as much as they could while I was locked up. Yeah. I appreciate what they did, you know, but. They have their own lives too. Exactly. You know, some of them have their own businesses. They don't have time to do all the stuff that I need help with. So, how'd you get into this? If they have their own businesses, they didn't like Actually, employ you? This is right across the street from the halfway house. Oh, okay. So, you so you started working like you started like working at the halfway house? Yeah. Well, that was required anyway. We had to have a job. Oh, okay. While we're Got it. So, plus, I needed a job anyway. I used to work at uh, Global Alliance mm. rubber uh, recycling plant okay nice Fulton industrial it was okay it was 15 bucks an hour by not weekly bad. pay not bad you know but benefits that, too what's that benefits they did have benefits uh -huh. um unfortunately i didn't stay long enough because i had an issue that was bothering the shit out of me really yeah. bad and yeah i was up and down steps all the time shoveling into a corkscrew grinder oh we got it kind of oh, got like god got injured yeah you know eight hours a day of that you know yeah. and after a while my bad and I just look man I got it I can't do this anymore fair enough age yeah and you're sure you're 67 now oh shit don't <laughs> no, don't tell you that oh my god no please don't do that that I'd, I'd be dead already uh, 58 I'll be 59 this oh year. okay yeah, I don't know why I had that mixed up a young but yeah not young right exactly well you're you're pushing it yeah but you know you're you seem to be in good shape for your age especially I mean better shape than I am in my age oh I, mean, I don't know I mean look at you you're you're stout <laughs> Me. Yeah, well, um, used to be, you know, you know, but damn got it. <laughs> so I mean, gosh, so what? Like, how did? So I mean, obviously, you really seem to want to get your life back on track. I mean, so what kind of happened with Instagram? Like, what, what, what kind of got you on there in the first place? Like, who, who did that? Oh, I was bored. Okay. You know, just kind of, I didn't have anybody to talk to. Basically, once I left the half, halfway house, you know, it's kind of like, well. Man, I'm bored. So, so in a way, it was kind of better being the halfway house, in some ways. It, yeah, in some ways, yeah. Okay. But not completely. That place was driving me nuts. You know, all their stupid shit. The house is now closed. Cleaning time. Clean this. Clean oh this. God, man, come on. You don't want to be treated like a nine-year-old. <laughs> exactly. Right. You know, no, I wanted to get on my own anyway. For sure. But yeah, I mean, this I just started getting bored. Not anybody to talk to. But thank God, football season, you know, kind of helped. I love football. Do you a Falcons fan? I'll regret to answer that. No, I'm not a Falcons fan. Born okay. diehard Bears fan. You're from Chicago? Not originally, no. I'm from Peoria, but. Oh, okay. Well, that's close I've enough. Been to, my dad played in the NFL back in '53. Your dad played in the NFL. For the Chicago Cardinals, the year after they won their championship. No, what was it? What position did he play? He was well. He was a linebacker, uh, fullback. He had to play both sides of the ball if they wanted to get paid. Yeah, back in the day, I'm sure it was yeah. like that. Well, yeah. like, so did you play in high school and stuff? I played well before high school. I played in junior football league. So, and, you were, and, uh, what did you do? What's that? What did you play? I was a tackle. No, you weren't. Yeah. You're lying. I was. You're full. No, no way, no way, oh, no way. I stood about this tall, uh, uh, like this, you know. Really? Yeah. Jeez. I was a lineman. In the trenches. God, I, you know, I, I, I don't want, I don't mean to offend you, but I would have loved if you lined up right in front of me. I think I'd, I think I'd have a fun time with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I played for a little while. Uh, uh, that was the, the lightweight division I went in. Oh, okay. That division. Well, the on. team I was on, we went to the championship. But, oh, okay. I didn't get to play, couldn't even go, because I ended up having how that happened was I had this little Evil Knievel thing just wind up on the ground, and I was on our front porch one day, and I was in, I dicked my hand, didn't even think anything about it. Right. And one day my mom said, was that a marker? Yeah, that's a marker. Got it. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is, Mom. It was a marker. Jeez Louise. Oh, she knew. She knew. So we're going to the doctor. I had to wear a plastic bag with my head like my hand like this for like a week. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Jeez Louise. So you really, no. you really seem like a guy who's like tries to keep himself occupied with stuff, and it seems I like do. it's kind of. So, I mean, obviously, I mean, you don't have a lot of followers. So obviously, you weren't on there for a long, long amount of time. No. Um, 
So, so how, did, how did Lisa kind of come across your thing? Uh, you know, I don't even really remember. I think, I think it was just, just, just her username. Okay. She loves butterflies. Did you just press follow or something? or? Uh, yeah, something like that. Okay. And I sent her some photos, some really cool plot of... Uh, yeah, no, I saw that. It was a nice looking photo yeah, here. That, that was actually pretty cool. Those are butterflies in the shape of a heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah, it, that was pretty cool. It's definitely nice. So then the other people on Instagram, because it really seems like, talking to you, it seems like, you know, obviously, you know, I don't, I don't think that you're out to hurt anybody or anything like that, nor do I think you were, but... I mean, how 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 did you, how how did you kind of how did this circle of these people that you know follow you you follow I don't I don't mean like Lisa and stuff but how did that circle kind of bring you back into it? I really don't know. I think just some of it was just boredom, stupidity. Okay. You know. Right, because you know the last thing the last thing like you know I, I want is. You know, it, it's hard. It's because it's like dangling a chocolate cake in front of you. It's easy to say no to for a long time, and then you know, eventually, it, I, especially out of the halfway house, I'm sure. But believe me, I, I didn't want to. Uh -huh. uh, I still don't because I still regress to that. You know, like man, I don't need to do. I really don't. Do you? Th how often do you think about that? A lot. A lot. A okay. Lot. Because it, it hounds me in the back of my head. I'm sitting there thinking, man, don't do something. Stupid! Don't do anything stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm not even no. worried about Lisa. I mean, I'm just curious. Obviously, you know about Telegram and all that stuff. How, how did was Telegram? I mean, you got arrested in what 20, 2015? Yeah. Okay. Was Telegram a thing back then? I have no idea. But you weren't on Telegram back then. I don't even know if it was a thing. Okay. So how did Telegram kind of find you? Because I noticed with a lot of people it was like, you know, they're on Instagram being bored doing, you know, what's stupid internet. It happens, but then Telegram finds them. That's where it hits the fan, and that, that's kind of what, like, how, how did Telegram drag you into this crap? Because that's what, that's what it seems what happened. I don't know. I think somebody mentioned Telegram. Uh huh. I'm like, oh, okay. It's like, well, what is that? Right, 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 uh, right. And I thought, you know, okay, well, it's kind of like Yahoo Messenger or something. I don't know. Uh huh. You know, that's where that kind of fell in. So that was that. And then one thing led to another, and then it became a whole show yeah pretty much okay so you know obviously you know obviously we have lisa's messages here right but it's not hard to see telegram activity either and all that type of stuff what how did how did you kind of find out about these groups that you were in somebody asked me to join one i'm like well, i don't do groups okay i don't want to do groups i don't sure. want to even be involved with that right right, right. You know, i don't want to chat with people doing dumb ass Mm -hmm. You know, that's their business. You know, I just didn't want to get involved with that. And I, I've had a lot of them, you know, you know, invite me to groups. Right. I just delete it. I, I don't want to be in groups. Right. But the couple you found yourself in, how did that happen? I, that must have happened. I don't know how that happened. Um, mm -hmm. I think I got invited to a couple. Sure. And I thought I had deleted them. Okay. Or something. But I guess it never removed me from it. But yeah, I'm. I'm not in any groups, as far as I know. Okay, because I, I know we both know the images in those groups are um, not in, not not something that anybody outside of this would want to see and just be like, oh, that's okay, you know what I mean? Right. Like, so before anything, did and I think I know the answer because it's just being logical here. But did 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 you you didn't, the images in those groups? Did you take those photos yourself? No. Okay. So this these were other people doing that and spreading it in the group. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, okay got it so you know i can't just go through all the groups you're in and just look at each image myself you know but obviously there was a lot of stuff in that group that uh, you know what a lot of people would say that's an illegal photo that's a, you know what i mean and you know so you weren't taking any of those photos yourself no. okay no so okay no. so what what photos were in the groups that other people were and do you have their names I don't know what their names are, only by what names came up on there. I'd see something that had somebody's name or whatever on it. Okay. You know, you're, you're invited to this group, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, that, delete, you know. Right, but I mean, I'm just talking about the, f the few that you were in, like, you know, what kind of crap? Because I, I know a lot of it was basically the combination of adults, but some of it was stuff under 18, you know, as. Uh, I'm sure it probably was. 
Right. But you know, I didn't talk to any of them, any of those people in any of the. Groups. Okay, you didn't talk to them. No. So you, did, did you just, did you just kind of see them sending whatever they sent, but not directly interact with them? Correct. Okay. So this is where this is where we can kind of find help for this. What were they sending? Because you know, if now that I know you didn't take those photos, and now that I know you weren't interacting with them, basically, what can just help humanity at this point? What what were those people sending? And do you know their names? I don't know their names, but I okay. know they were sending a bunch of stuff that was underage. Okay. You know, some of it was probably maybe some people that were over eighteen could can't really. Tell. Like what? What percentage have you had to guess? Like oh, of each? God. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Was it too much underage to count? You think? Probably. Okay. Got it. So, I, I assume these these basically underage picks were in some type of naked or act or all that type of crap they get yeah, into. Yeah. Okay. Like that, yeah. Got it. How you? If anybody comes by, I'll just because obviously it's you know I don't want them to come hearing <laughs> for everybody. Right. So uh, how how young did these pictures go? And I'm not saying you look. I'm going through these messages on Telegram. I don't have them printed out, but going through them. I'm not saying you requested any of this stuff. I didn't really see too much of that, if any, at all. Right. But what were they sending in those groups? Like how did it go? They were sending stuff. I've seen stuff with babies. Infant. Yes. Oh, like that, no, okay. man, come on. You can't. And they were sending these in the groups. I don't know if they were sending in the groups, but that's what I'd seen. But, I'm but, like, holy but how can you do that? At, was it? Infant. This pe these in these kids are, are so please please tell me know their names. I don't know their names. Okay, that's I okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, God, I wish I did. Okay, but you weren't taking those pics. No. Okay. Okay. That's 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 obviously I'm the important not thing that here. Sick in the head. Okay. I mean, I've, I've done some in my life, but nothing like that. Right. That's obviously the important thing here. Oh, uh, we can just kind of go on that side if you don't mind. Or if he's about to dip out. Yeah. Okay. So. Sure. Got it. Oop. That Texas. Yep, that's where I'm from originally. I live. Uh, you know where Alpharetta is, right? Where? Who? Alpharetta. Alpharetta, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, I know where Alpharetta is. Yeah, that's is. where I'm from now. Born and raised in Amarillo. Amarillo. You know where that is? Yes, I do. Yes. Your hair kind of looks like Trump from behind. Here, just, just face that way. Look. You just like you, really, you kind of look like Trump. Everybody goes, oh, you're wearing this, orange. This, this is what they call me in prison. Like I, I, they I, called I you hate, Trump? No, 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 no. I hated it, but it kind of started to go with. It started, you know, sticking. Yeah. And my hair was a lot longer. Yeah. So they started calling me, um, oh, uh, Ric Flair. Oh, oh that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. It's Oh God, man! I mean, my hair was a lot longer and everything. They'd see it bouncing when I'd walk down the hallway or whatever out on the top. I'd be like, "Hey, Ric Flair!" <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, it was just okay. I gotta wear this now. <laughs> Jeez! All right. I'm like, well, when I got out of prison, I thought, okay, that's there. I don't know after here. Every once in a while, I hear guys over at the bus stops. You know, I, I don't know if they've ever been to prison or not, but I hear, "Oh man, you look like Ric Flair!" <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm in the real world. I don't want to hear that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when like, people mess up your order, say at Burger King like earlier, maybe they give you a bigger, bit more chicken nuggets than you expected, you just go like, woo! That's not a bad idea. No, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Try that. yeah, no, I think you should. So, okay, so obviously, um, yeah, I think they're just passing by. All right, uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, anyway. Yeah, so this stuff like, so basically this stuff, like this infant stuff, this was, this came across your feed on Telegram? Yeah. Okay. So was this somebody kind of spamming this to you directly or in these groups? Uh, it may have been both. It may have been both? It may have been both. Okay. Was it probably both? Like people just kind of hitting you up with that randomly or? Well, I mean, it'd be kind of like, you know, okay, well, what do you got? And then all of a sudden they send that. I'm like, God. Okay. I don't see that. So if you didn't interact with anybody in the groups, this would have been in the DMs. Like you're, you're asking, what do you got? Then they send that unexpectedly. Right. Okay. And I'm like, oh, you got to me, man. Okay. I'll just, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd see that. And I'm, I don't even want to talk to these people. So were these, and, and I assume when there's infants, there's like, you know, two, three, four, five, it all goes up to like 17, eight, over 18. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
Got it. So, um, were these infant stuff like videos or were they pictures or both? Uh, a lot of it was videos, but they, okay. there were some pictures. Okay. Oh, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't, don't want to look. Give me a. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry I had to go through that, but g give me a ballpark number of how much of that stuff you've seen. Like videos, pictures combined, like is it thousands, is it? Oh, I don't know. I mean, could it I, be? I've or? seen a few videos that were you know, several seconds long. Okay, okay. Uh, what that equates to, I don't know. No, no, but I mean, I mean like basically, like how many, you know, pieces of, I guess, media like did that come across like was it hundreds of times this happened or thousands no, or well not that many times no I, maybe 10 20 times I, got I, it. I really don't know got I it i don't remember got it and these videos that were a couple seconds long what was happening in those videos uh so i don't even want to look at it. i didn't i wouldn't even do oh believe me do you think i'd be talking to you if i thought you would do that stuff <laughs> probably not and there wouldn't be cameras here either yeah there wouldn't be cameras here either i'll just let you know um but like yeah but like you know i'm, I'm curious because obviously we both want to save the babies here right so like what was happening in those videos like oh my God, God, off of them. like on, onto an infant yes okay oh my God. please i don't want to see that you know. jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And these videos were how long? Where are you going? Oh, he's taking, he's taking off. Huh? 10 seconds to maybe 20, 25 seconds, something like that. Okay. And was it that happening? Oh, God Goddamn. And was that happening like the whole 25 seconds, pretty much? Or was there other stuff I'd, happening, I'd, too? I'd see some of it, and I'd just be like, okay, I'm moving Right, on. right, right. Yeah. So, so, what was this? So, when you ask, what do you got to this profile that has like a pizza symbol, what were you expecting? Like, I know not infants, but what, like, just honestly, like, if it's, if it's 13, 14, whatever, but like, what, what, what were you expecting? I didn't think it was a little closer to 18, you know. A little closer to 18. Like, yeah. what, 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 what do you think? Like, what? 16, 17, 18. Okay. You know. So, like, barely underage, pretty much? Yeah. Okay. Got it. That's it, what I would think. Okay. If that's what you're going to send, that. Hmm. Cool, but, you know, still not right. That's levels to it, though, I, I would say. Yeah. So, obviously, you know, there's people sending you crap, but also to them, you were putting, pushing stuff their way too. Like, what was going on with that? Whatever people would send me, I would just, you know, here, go take that. Okay, so you kind of just, in, in, in a sense, like kind of, so basically play hot potato with these images in a way? Okay, so how, how did you know who to send those photos, like basically send those photos to? Just, you know, you know, random, you know, hey, you know, people trade. What do you okay. Do? Okay. So, do they hit you up saying, do you trade? I've had a few of them do that. Okay. And is that kind of what happened next? Y'all traded? Yeah. Okay. What I would do is I would just say, well, you send me something first. Okay. Got it. So, you make them make the first move or something. Okay. Got it. Makes sense. So, besides Lisa, was there any other, like, underage younger ladies that would hit you up on Instagram or Telegram saying, hey, I'm, like, I'm something under 18, let's talk, or anything like that? No. No? Lisa was the only... Lisa was it? Yeah. Okay. Were there others... Were there others, like, that... Were there other profiles that... Were there, I mean, did you talk to adults on there, too? Adult women, women at all, or...? I think a lot of them were adults. Okay. Most of them, I think, are. You know, okay. They got a picture of some girl on there in their profile. Right. How many were, how many, how many did you try to reach out to that happened to be younger than 18? I have no idea. It wasn't a lot. If you had to guess. Maybe 10. Okay. Maybe. Got it. And what would you say? I mean, I'm not expecting you to just go pull up every single one and say, this was her, this was, her. What, what was their average age like? Uh, uh average probably anywhere between Six to what, maybe 14, 15, 16, somewhere in there. Six to 14? 15, 16, maybe. Right, but like six years old to 14? Yeah. Okay. How would it, how would you, how would it, so you, there was a profile of a six year old on Instagram? Like, how? Like, how, how is, how is that even possible? I'm just curious. Like, I have no idea. From what I understand, you're supposed to be at least 13 years old. Right, right. They lie about their age. Okay. So there was a profile. And I'm, I'm just more curious how they were even on there. But there was a profile that was six years old that you just kind of reached out to. 
I think so, probably. Okay. But I don't even think I even message message the person. I don't think. Did you just say like hello or something, or did they not message? I may have. Okay. Uh, hey, how you doing? Whatever. For sure. Can you get another cigarette. Jeez Louise, I don't even know how the hell they got on Instagram. That's nuts. I wish I wouldn't have. Yeah, but it does take two, no matter what. Now, if they, now if you were just now if you were actually into like the babies and stuff, that's a different conversation. They can't like. No, no, I can't do that. Yeah, there's like a profile of like. That, 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 I put that in the same same ballpark with animals. No. Yeah, like 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 if you if you like see like a pair of huggies and think it's like lingerie or something, that's probably not the uh, best way to think. Okay, lingerie is one thing. Right. Uh, diapers. No. What are you doing? For sure, for sure. So you, you mentioned ca same category as dogs. Was was that kind of crap flowing on Telegram too? Like animals and kids, kind of. I don't know if it involved any kids. Okay. But I know I have seen one video of, of a woman. Yeah. A dog. Okay. I'm like, Really? Right. Was that in a? Was that kind of in a group, or was that sent to you directly? I think that may have been not in. I don't think I was in no group. I okay. I was just somebody sent that, and I'm like, oh god. Sorry to hear that, dog. Yeah, I love dogs. Not like that though. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. <laughs> don't want to stick your wiener in a wiener, huh? Uh, no. Okay. So obviously here, I mean, with Lisa, I mean we can cut through a lot of this. I'm not trying to blast you with all this crap. I mean, blah, blah, blah. She said she was nine, obviously. D did you send your to her? Uh, I probably did. Yeah. Okay. And kind of what I'm, what I'm like, the, the main thing here is there was an image sent Lisa's way. Obviously it's, it, it's censored for obvious reasons here, but, um, you know, obviously you can, you know, it's under here. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was that? What was that photo? I didn't get a chance to see it myself. So what was that photo? Uh, a girl giving a guy. Okay. And was a girl under eighteen? Probably, I think so. Okay. I mean, it looks, from what I heard, it looked pretty damn young. Like talking, probably six, seven, eight years old. Age-wise, I don't know, but I okay. know it was definitely young. Okay. Definitely like probably a middle schooler to an elementary schooler. Possibly, yeah. Okay. So what was kind of going on with that? Because I, like, I know you don't, you know, you don't want to harm children. I, I, I get know. that, but you know, internet is internet. It happened. Like, what, what, what was kind of happening with that? Uh, I just got caught up, you know, in the moment, or yeah, something like that. Okay. You know, just kind of like, like I said, I'm bored. Nobody to talk to. You know, sitting around in the room watching TV. That really, the only thing I really listen to is the Weather Channel. Mm -hmm. I can't watch half the movies on TV because I've done seen all of them about a thousand times. Oh, in prison? No, 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 the ones on TV. You know, like Uncle Buck. Love the movie, but I've seen it a million times. Oh, so you're saying you're just an old Yeah. <laughs> you've seen all of it already. I've seen them. Okay. You know, I can't, I can't watch Thor because I've watched that a gazillion times. And it looks like a better version of you, so I'm sure that plays into it, too, <laughs> that you don't want to watch it. I'm just saying. He's more handsome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he carries a big hammer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so blah blah blah. Both from Georgia. Nice to meet a Southern girl. You. Okay, she says she was from Kentucky. Kind of goes between Kentucky and Georgia. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. So, I mean, kind of before we just kind of you know do a run through of Lisa. You were talking to her on the cheap burner phone, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Is there? Do you have like a? tablet or computer at home no none of that crap nope. they don't even let you have it not at the moment okay when would that like when, when would that be like unlocked for you kind uh, of well that's a probation i guess probation judge okay yeah, but not this happened it's probably not gonna happen well obviously i, I think I mean, the reason i'm talking to you is because i think we could turn around to the right direction here so Okay, so you basically have to appeal to a judge to say, let me have this stuff back. Yeah, but it's going to come down to, you know, I mean, I know they're going to put a program on it. I told my probation officer, look, I have no problem putting a program on the phone. I don't care. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, my whole purpose is actually, like I said, to have actual real smartphone with the program on it, yeah. whether or not. Right. 
basically, so I can find a better job. Right. It pays 12, 15 hours. Do you have to pay for the gas too, or do they pay that? No, thank God, I don't have to pay for the okay. gas. I'd be a one broke. Oh yeah. Even in a truck. Oh yeah, for sure. You know. But it was basically, you know, so I can find a job. Do online banking. Um, email family back and forth, mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know, they're all busy. Some of them don't have time to talk on the phone and such, you know. My oldest brother's a tax attorney. I'm trying to get a hold of him. Hey, how much is the full dollar amount for my refund so I can call and find out what the status is? Actually, let me get a hold of him, too, because I need that as well. God, I hate taxes. Can't stand <laughs> he's up in, uh He's up in Virginia. Oh, okay. So they, they, they My family's in... spread out all over. Got it. We're in Virginia. Uh, what is that? Uh... Oh, damn, what the hell is the name of that town? It's... He used to have an office right down the street from the Pentagon. Was it like in Alexandria or something, or...? I think, I think that is it, Alexandria. Okay. It might be Alexandria. Fairfax, Alexandria, wherever? Yeah, somewhere up in there. Got it, Nova. So... Well, I mean, I think before you go appeal in front of a judge, I think you probably should wipe the phone of all that... that uh, all the images on there, probably. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Okay, so we can, uh, we'll, we'll get to that. So, where are these Where are these images you keep that the judge would look at and just be like, dude, what, you're doing it again? Are they on your gallery? Are they in a locked folder? Where do you, where are you keeping these? Uh, I think, yeah, they're like in the gallery or something. It'll okay. Be, I could just go in here and delete everything. Sure. Go back and delete everything off. Sure. So how, basically, how many are in the gallery you think you got to get rid of? of basically what people call child yeah okay that's fine are any of those and again i understand dude trust me i had a whole folder on my phone that i know get, got saved so what could happen with that i get it are any of these stuff like is any of this stuff like infant or anything like that infant toddlers that you think you got to get rid of i think i already got rid of all those because I, I didn't I, I don't want to look at that you know, okay it's just no. how many of those did you get rid of I think there was maybe 10. Sure, okay. It might have been a lower number than that. I don't really remember. Got it. When when, when did you do that? Oh God, what, about a month ago? Got it. Uh, that's about the time when they started sending all that infant crap. I'm like, oh, yeah. Delete, delete, delete. You know, right. Get off here. Right. So is, there, so is there toddlers and up on there, basically saved now? Uh, probably. Okay. I, I don't really know what people you know, but. Right, I guess there's not a freaking number tattooed on their chest or something, but like, but like, if you had to guess, is it basically like toddlers and up? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, good. That'd okay. probably be my guess. Okay, so you have 120 and some change videos. How many images? That would just be it, just the videos. Just the videos, okay. Yeah. What's the longest one on there? What's the shortest one on there, like lengthwise? I think the longest one I have is 20. Seven minutes. How do you yeah. keep it on your phone? How does that even save? It's hard. Okay. It takes forever to upload. Okay. And this is from somebody that who's became a famous. I guess I don't know. I don't know. You really call her star, but child star. Yes, that's what she was. How so? How was she in that twenty-seven minute video? 15, 16, maybe. Okay. Yeah, she was. She was a lot older. Got it. Uh, she wasn't no, no little kid or nothing. Mm. But she was definitely older. For sure. So, you know, skimming through again. I'm not going to read out every single one and you know make you be. A, I'm not going to read out every single one here and just maybe be a freaking asshole to you here. I appreciate how honest you've been because I think you truly do want to turn this around, get your life back on track. For yes, I do. Yeah, I respect the hell out of that. So obviously there was phone calls to Lisa a couple times, I think. I don't know, maybe three or four. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Four so, yeah. So the calls were what a lot of people would probably say pretty... Uh, racy? Pr pretty racy, yeah. yes. Yeah, they were. Get a cigarette? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I ain't leaving yet until, well, let's see, it's 4.30. I got a little bit of time before I gotta head back. Okay. Put the shot and put the truck back in the shop. So, yeah, I mean, they were racy. It was mostly to see what kind of reaction I could get. Out of Lisa? Yeah. Okay. You like, promise you this, there was no way I would ever do anything. Not somebody that So what were you going to do when you got there then? What's that? So you said you weren't going to do anything with someone that young. So what was the, what was your plan then? Just hanging out or? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Because I wasn't going to do anything with it. You know, that's, no, I even knew that. I said, you know, even if, even if this was legitimate, I wasn't going to do anything with her anyway. Well, basically, did, did you come here? Did you come here expecting to have any of this stuff happen? No. Okay. So. Not at all. Okay. She may have made it seem that way. Uh huh. You know, but I figured, okay, I'll go up here, just talk, hang out. Okay. You know. So that, so your plan was to talk and hang out and. Yeah. Okay. I, I wasn't planning on staying long anyway. Okay. What was the reason that you didn't want to do any of that stuff? For one, it's not right. You know, okay. It's not right. Okay. I'd, I would never do that anyway. Okay. So it seemed like you believed that this was real then, but you didn't want to follow through with it. Correct. Okay. So you believed that you were at least going to... So basically, if, if I can get inside your mind here, you believed you were going to see a nine-year-old girl, but the plan was just to chill out, relax. Is that kind of right? Just kind of look, you know, hey, I don't want to do this. Okay. I don't want to even be involved with this. You know, if you want to be friends and talk, that's fine. That's one thing. Uh -huh. I have no problem with that. Okay. But to go down that road, no. Okay. So, okay. So, were you planning on hanging out more than once if y'all got along or something? Or I doubt it. I mean, this was just a one-time thing. Meet her. Hey, how you doing? Okay. You know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, so you knew, so you, in your mind, well... Obviously, you assume that you were going to go meet someone, and again, meeting is, well, that's not even illegal, but like, meeting, you assume you were going to meet an actual nine-year-old, and that's why you didn't want to do anything. Right. Okay. Got it. Okay. So, so that means... There's, no, there's no way I can even bring myself to do that. Okay. So that means all this, and I'm, I'm just saying, and again, mistakes happen, but that means all this talk was to who you actually believe to be a nine-year-old, even if you don't want to follow through with it. Yeah. Okay. Just basically, like I said, just just to get a reaction, see what she'd say, blah blah blah. Okay. Stuff like that. I mean, did you? I mean, you referred to yourself like as a teacher to her. Well, being nine, whatever. Okay. According to her, she didn't know anything. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, I could teach you whatever you want to learn. Okay. That's about what that boiled down to. But there's, like I said, there's no way I would ever intentionally do anything like that. Intentionally? Yeah. I okay. would never do it anyway. Okay. You know, that's not my intent. I mean, on the call, I mean, there was, you know, talking about Sophie too. I mean, this was talking about a nine-year-old and a six-year-old here, talking about them, yeah. that you licking their on the video. Well, I mean, not on the video call, but you, you talking about on the video. I mean, unless you can Never go, seen that. if you can go through the screen, let me know because I can use that myself. You know, talking to some freaking Brazilian model, I can just go do that myself. Well, that'd be kind of hot. That would be kind of hot, but um. But basically, you know, I mean, you talked about, they talked about too, I mean, licking a six-year-old, licking a nine-year-old, putting your inside Lisa, I mean. Yeah, that was never going to happen anyway. Okay. You know. I will be your first boyfriend, maybe only boyfriend for a long time. So it seemed like you guys cared about each other. I would say more on a friend level. Okay. But, you know, just, just talk, basically. Okay. That's all that was. We just talk. Okay. Random. Internet. Yeah. So here you said, I promise you won't regret being my girlfriend. And you said, I will take care of you always. Well, what boyfriend doesn't do that for their girlfriend? Okay. So were you kind of, I mean, is, is that, is that kind of what, is that kind of what you had in mind? Just be boyfriend, girlfriend, but not do anything until she's 18 maybe? Or? Probably. Okay. So, so obviously if, so obviously hanging out wouldn't have been a one-time thing if you know you want to be her boyfriend for nine years and wait until she's 18. Yeah, I'm not dead by then. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so, you know, and obviously nobody can predict even what happens two seconds from now. But, uh, but you know, you're... you're and, knowing, and knowing, you know, even though I've said that, hey, you know, 
18, whatever. Yeah, 18, that's fair game, for I sure. damn well. Even if this was for real, at some point, she's going to meet somebody else anyway. Okay. But she's going to move on. So basically, expected that. Was, your ideal, was your ideal thing just kind of uh, talking to her for as long as possible? And if she happens to be around 18, that's when you do stuff with her? Yeah, I would have waited until she was legal age anyway. Okay. Okay. So it would have just been talking and maybe hanging out until then? Yeah. Okay. You know, chatting, whatever. Okay. But yeah, no, 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 she was at least 18. Okay. That's legal. Can't do anything about that. Right. But you sure as hell can under that. Mm hmm. So I wish I could kiss you around. So at least you're just kind of a cute girl to you then? Well, she's a pretty girl in the pictures. Yeah. Right. You know. So you're the first real relationship I had since then. Okay. So you talked about other people commenting on her photos and saying you didn't like that. Makes you so much possessive, a little bit possessive. Oh, jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Possessive, no, jealous. Jealous, okay. Yeah. Is that, so that's kind of what that was, a little bit of jealousy happened in there? Yeah. Okay. And I told her that, Joe. I said, well, you know, I'm sorry. I got a, you know, jealous streak in me. Hey, man. Too. You're a pretty girl. I'm jealous. Other guys are looking at you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. So, there was a point in the conversation where, I mean, you know, I wish I could read all these in two seconds, but I'm not some world record breaker. I mean, there was a point in the conversation. Well, I don't need you. Keep going. Yeah. There was a point in the conversation where he kind of guided her on how to touch herself. Well, she said she had no experience with that. Okay, so I want to tell her. Okay. You know, this is what most girls do. Okay. But you also said this was kind of, I mean, you said it was kind of turning you on, too. Reaction. Okay. Well, you sent a picture of your heart. Wasn't even really hard. Well, it was, um, it was. It was like a half limp. It was a nose. halfway hard. Yeah. Like the halfway that. house. So, so this is. Uh, I mean, on the video, I mean, not, sorry, not a video call, but on the call, I mean, you were rubbing your and doing all that stuff. I mean, I was just telling her that I wasn't actually doing it. Not actually doing it, okay. I just later, yeah, no, this is what I'm doing. Oh, I'm not, but okay. Okay. You're very safe in my arms. That is, you're talking like this, opening up feelings and thoughts you understand. I mean, a lot of times you mentioned if cuddling is what you think about for now, then I'm okay with that. We will take things slowly for you're so comfortable. So cuddling was a, cuddling was a pretty big theme throughout this whole thing. I mean, well, that's what she always brought up. Okay. Cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. Yeah, okay. So, it was, I mean, was cuddling something that, you know, if she wanted to do it, maybe y'all would cuddle or stuff like that? I doubt it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I might have given her a hug. That's probably about it. But. Giving her a hug? Okay. Any, like, kisses maybe like, on the forehead or the nose or anything like that? Maybe on the top of the head, but no. I don't, I don't even think I would have even done any of that. Okay. So, just a hug? Yeah. Okay. Just a friendly hug. Hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. So here, I would softly kiss your lips, your neck, your forehead, and anywhere else you want me to kiss you. I would softly caress your fingers with your soft lips. I would kiss your tummy and kiss you all the way back to your lips. Yeah. All oh, thanks, man. Just kissing was a lot of it. So this gym, this this is the account right here. Is this your only account, or was there more? That's the only one. Okay, so your only account was. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there was all the other that was not you? No. Okay. Let's see. What's going oh, through? Gym <laughs> um, well, we're in Georgia. There's probably a gym there, 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 yeah, there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, I just had to see if you were, you know. Okay. So you said, I think you might like it in another part, too, especially when I kiss your inner thighs. Tell me about what you like and don't like about what I said. Okay. You ever touch yourself there? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's a lot of it. Blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of this like a fantasy kind of in a way too? I don't know if it was fantasy. Just talk, you know. Yeah. Because, I mean, obviously what, what say, what's said in the chats here, you see a lot of videos of that. Like, you see, you see it all the time. And now you're putting it on paper here. I think that could play a part in what was happening here. I mean, you just, Possible. Okay. So, I got, I got to ask because obviously there's... You know, I'm sure it's a pattern you're not proud of, but when did these feelings towards younger ladies under 18 actually start for you? I never really had any real feelings for underage girls at all. No? no. Okay. It was, just, it was just, you know, stupidity. 
okay. something to do, boredom. Whatever. Right, but obviously looking at your all mine stuff, it, it, it turned into maybe a hobby to now it's most, that's what most of it is. So when did it, when did it start to kind of consume your mind when you think of the opposite gender? Oh, I'm sorry, one of the 72 million genders, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the opposite gender as of in 2018, let's just say that, the 2018 opposite gender. When you think about that, when did that start to, when did basically, you know, and again, we're not here, I'm not judging you for this, but you know, there's that happens and I don't think you need trouble, I think you need some help maybe. But when did kids start to fill your mind when you thought about the female? They never really did. No? No. Okay. I mean, teenagers is one thing. You know, 16, 17, or closer to 18. Okay, when did that start to fill your mind? Oh, that's been most of my life since I was a teenager. Okay, and that kind of stayed the same as you got older a little bit? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you, when you, you know, I look at it this way. When you, when you see a 16, 17-year-old girl and you put her against a... 40 something year old woman. Yeah, I get that for sure. Okay. They're pretty. Right, okay. 40 something year old woman. Baggage. A nightmare. A train wreck. Well, you're definitely not wrong about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. So, but obviously it, it, it's went down to infants, toddlers. Not saying you're into that, but it, basically your phones got into that crap. Which I never wanted any of that crap. Right, to begin right. With. But even then, like eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, ten-year-olds, when when did that stuff kind of start for you? Because obviously, 2015, you were whether whether you did it or not, you were in those circles. That's obviously how they found you. So, how many years before that did that start to be a thing? Like, was it the internet kind of sucking you in? What happened? I think, well, I think what happened is I found I was on the internet one night. And, what year was this? Oh, this is probably back on what 2013 or so. Okay. Like that. I was on a, on the internet. You know, checking out some sites, you know, I got bored, and, and there was an adult site that came up, and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, let me check this out. Check out sites? Yeah. Okay. And I clicked, I don't know what I clicked, it, it ended up taking me not to that site, but to all these other sites. No. Oh. And what was all those other sites? Oh, my God. Everything you could think of. Infant? Uh, no, I didn't see no one back then. Okay. But it was all, you know, underage. Okay. Having and stuff like that? Uh, a lot of it was mostly, like, pictures and stuff like that. Okay, I mean, naked. I don't even remember if I even saw any videos, but it was mostly, like... Like, pictures. naked stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. So... And I'm looking, I'm like, this can't be real, you know, and I'm going... People are doing, uh... Oh, what is that, uh... Uh... Shop, uh... Where they change pictures and images. Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. what I was looking for. Photoshop. I forget a lot of that. It's got to be Photoshop. This can't be real. Mm hmm. Got it. I didn't think any of that was real. So, uh, what's going to happen now? What? Oh. Oh. Uh. Probably one of the neighbors. Probably one of the neighbors. We'll just. We'll just tell them, like, they, it's probably the cameras. I mean, nothing's going to happen to me, right? No, I'm going to vouch for you, dude. Trust me. What's that? I'm going to vouch for you. I'm going to vouch for you. It's probably just, if they ask what's going on, just that we're doing an interview. Well, I'm not being arrested. I'm not, huh? I'm not being arrested. Oh, dude. I'll, dude, I'll vouch for you, bro. Like, I, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm no, 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 no cop or nothing like that. Like, no, I'll just. I'm not here for us. Yeah, I don't well, know. What I mean is I'm not getting arrested today for anything. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to make sure, well, I'm not going to make that happen for sure. And I don't think like that would be the case. Cool. Yeah. That's my biggest concern right now. Absolutely. No, absolutely. I don't want to go, I got to explain that to my probation officer. Yeah, as long as that's not going to happen, I'm happy okay with that. Right. Do we live here? Yeah. Uh, no, we yeah, don't. What are you? Uh, we're just having an interview with we're just having an interview right here we're just kind of we just kind of met like at a place we have like a uh, we have like a YouTube channel type thing we're just interview people uh, okay uh, do you live here no you want us to go somewhere else we can do that yeah please okay yeah. all right well let's all just right, I'm sure he's uh, Burger King yeah I'm sure he's a uh, how's it going sir What's going on, man? hi so there's just obviously there's like a situation going on I mean you know, somebody trying to turn their life around here. I mean, you are going to delete the child from your phone, right? Okay, got it. And you're not going to go meet like a nine-year-old again no, after talking not. sexual. You're not going to send your 
speak to a nine-year-old again? No. Okay. Was that the last time this happened? This will be the last time. Okay. All right. And you're not going to and you're not going to send like any illegal images around to people again? Nope. Okay. All right. I'm done with that. Okay. Well, you just got to make sure that you get you on the right path here for sure. So, and all these messages you sent to who you thought was a nine-year-old, you're not going to do this again? Nope. Okay. It was no. the last time it happened? Last time it happened. Okay. All right. So, all right. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. I think we'll be all right. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me, too. All right. I can go. I need to talk to you because I'm we're confused on what's going on. Are you the one that called? Who called? I'm the one that called. All right, come on. So I can go. Hey, officer. Up, he's asking if he can go. Yeah, I don't have anything on right now. Okay. Thank you. So, what, what's going on? Okay, what organization? Yes, sir. He's a defender who has like child phone right now. Oh my god. Alright, well, the nice thing is I'm going to grab that DOT plate and that company name. Okay. Like that because that's going, that one's going. I've already driven past y'all with cameras rolling once. Okay. So, don't, uh, I, the, the issue is, is we have no idea who y'all are, where y'all came from, how any of this started up. So that's why we have to do our due diligence and get the actual reported information up and then we can go after that. Okay. All right. So that that's where the amount of confusion was because we were up front dealing with a 19 year old. Oh God, all right. So if you notice, I drove by you yeah. without a second thought. Right, right, right. I'm up front dealing with a 19 year old and I'm getting told that I've got, you know, a group in the back dealing with, you know, whatever's going on back here. And I'm trying to figure out, I've got two other calls holding them. Mm -hmm. So it's, it was one of those things of, okay, we got to start prioritizing what's going on because I've got a sergeant who's taken that 19 year old to the hospital because he tried to fight us up front. So it's, we're just trying to get everything going right now. Trying okay. to figure out what's going on. All right. It's nothing against you. I trust me. I love what y'all do. But right now I, I don't have enough to put him in cuffs. I don't have a right to search his phone or anything like that. You know what okay. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. So continue. Yes, sir. All right. So. All three, y'all work for them. Yeah, yeah. I like, yeah. I made the thing. Go ahead. All right, hang on. Come on. Dang. Where are you? Be clear, Russ. Kidding me right now, dude? He's just gonna go smash his phone. He literally admitted this in front of the cop, dude. No, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. I can't believe I can't believe it. What did you what did you tell him on the phone? Like all that he had all this crap. What's up guys, if you wanna see more caches, just go to Rumble, it's completely free. That's where we do live streams, all of that stuff. And if you wanna see even more than that, um, early, uh, months before they even get onto Rumble, go join the locals. But yeah, you should not be on YouTube right now. Um, we're literally just doing this censored version to bring people over to see the good shit. So um, yeah.